actually recording this on uh, on the, the hi new people I've just started recording this on Ustream and then I will put it to YouTube hopefully but anyways um uh, let's go from my business stuff to what I was doing on the common you know what I'm saying my man you're part of the family now you gotta be one of the family well, the other day I went out to the cabin you know the family spot we went out to the cabin up the lake, you know, when the... Anyway, I stopped talking like a, a really crappy mafia guy. Um, I went up to uh, the cabin up on Great Slave Lake. For those not in Yellowknife, it's the lake that Yellowknife is situated just on the shore of. And my cabin is up up the, up the shore. And uh, I was out snowmobiling up there and uh, trying to find... Uh, to fix up the cabin because someone stole the stove or someone stuck the, took the stove out. Anyway, I got stuck on my snowmobile. Spent a good half an hour digging myself out out of the three feet of snow I was in. It was interesting, to say the least. Uh, a lot. I think that's a lot of how people uh, get uh, get stuck and get uh, hypothermia and end up dying. Yes, I I was in a death-defying situation. I was facing nature and Mother Nature herself, and I had nothing but my bare hands to face her with. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but no, 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 seriously, that's, that's what I mean, like, so I got stuck, and the first thing that a normal person probably would have done was jump off their sled, and oh, I'm see what they could pull out, uh, because, you know, they want to get out right away, but no, I, I stopped, oop, oop, don't want to hit the mic, I'm hitting the mic here, no, the one thing I did was I slowed down, I took off my helmet, I sat there for a second, caught my breath, and then I, uh, walked around to the front, <laughs> well, actually, I jumped off the sled and sunk four feet, because that's how deep it was, and I didn't realize I'm sitting on top of it. And I uh, slowly started to dig out the front, taking my time. You know, I didn't have any water with me, so I didn't want to get too dehydrated. Dug out the front, got all both skis, kind of... Ooh, amber. Kind of got both skis up on the top of the snow. Walked around the back, dug out the side of it, pushed some snow under the sled. And then, once I caught my breath for the fourth, fifth time, used all the effort I had to flip the sled up onto the uh, top of the snow, and then I used my energy and my gracious gracious weight and uh muscled my way out of that situation there that was that that's where a lot of people will uh, get stuck and and get scared and, and overexert themselves and sweat and then cool off too quickly and and end up getting hypothermia so that's what i was trying to avoid once i was out i the only thing I really wanted to do once I got out was do it again, which was, of course, typical me. Anyway, I'm back home. You stream, Mel. Oh, no, there it goes. You stream still going. How y'all doing tonight? I'm blabbing away, and this is gonna be a recording, and it's gonna sound weird because I'm talking to myself. Just, it's just we're just hanging out, just all me and my other computer, because that's the only other computer watching. Um, that's what, but that's what, that's what we're doing here tonight. That's what, that's what we're just hanging out. You know, it's all good. We're just talking about life, you know. But. Uh, so, Yellowknife. Well, let's talk about Yellowknife because that's uh, that's the only thing I can come up with. Um, it's cold out, you know. For those listening in the U.S., it is minus 30 Celsius here, which, ironically enough, is also minus 30 Fahrenheit. Yeah. But I have to say something about... Well, maybe I'll cover that in the YK Online podcast. I'll just talk about how, to me, the weather up here is normal meaning that for someone down down in northern United States or Toronto, Ontario or, and, or Vancouver, minus 10 is freezing cold, right? And we and I'm we're up here and we're kind of like, yeah. Okay, that's that's minus 10. That I would give anything for minus 10. Like if it were minus 10 in Yellowknife, it would be awesome. It would be a nice day out. You'd have hundreds of people out on the lakes enjoying the warm weather but if you have that in the southern place it's kind of like holy crap it's freezing cold out gotta get out the parkas 
So it's interesting to compare those two. I always, because I always feel like I'm watching over things and kind of going, huh, interesting. Do you know that we don't have our own cable TV station here? It's kind of like we got Edmonton channels. Yeah, that that was my other point. Um, so it's just it's just that, that's what I want to talk about. To to us, to us, the cold temperatures aren't bad, and when we have warmer, colder temperatures like the minus tens or the teens, as we 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 tend to take advantage of that. Whereas people people don't like that, and then they they're like, "Holy cow! It's it's minus." 30 up there and then we're like well it's it's normal it's our normal we have to be normal and th- for those people who complain about it then i have to say what the hell are you doing in yellow knife because you knew what the weather was like when you come here and regardless of what global warming says it's still cold up here although we've been very thankful and gotten a very warm weather this january anyway I think there's commercials on the radio, so I'm going to just turn that down even more. Um, but no, so that's all been contributing to that. So, hey, here's something else. I have no idea. Let's stop the thing. driving your dream car and let's face it your heap barely runs celebrate the loyalty rewards event at tower chrysler get the best savings of the year on all new vehicles plus chrysler dodge jeep owners receive additional savings there's never been a better time to buy open today from nine till six visit towerchrysler.com for event details tower chrysler dream cars arriving daily across from south center see dealer for details amp rockstar 2010 go to amp 